Hello, I'm Hannah Hart, host of My Drug Kitchen, two-time best-selling author, and huge fan of The Last of Us. I actually didn't start gaming until I was an adult. I never had any sort of console as a kid. I didn't play on a computer. And The Last of Us was actually the first game I ever played all the way through. I had no idea that video games could tell stories in this way. Fun day at work, huh? He's still doing up. It's late. The opening of The Last of Us is powerful, and it's instantly human. You can't help but immediately form a connection to the characters and to the world. When I realized that the beginning hadn't even gotten to the opening credits and those credits hit, I got chills. It took my breath away. I had no idea what I was being set up for. It, it just worked. It worked beautifully. As a creative myself, as a storyteller, as someone who invites people into worlds, I felt completely invited into this one. One of the things I think is so incredible about these characters is that for me as a player, I felt a connection to both Joel and Ellie. I could really see a lot of my own heartbreak and despondence and tenacious hopelessness in Joel. In the beginning of the game, this is not a man who's operating on some resource of belief that things are gonna get better. This is a man absent of that. Yet, unbeknownst to him, he still keeps moving forward. And I really connected with that during times of despair or loss in my own life, that even when you feel hopeless, it doesn't mean you have to stop. The sequence right before the very end, right before Joel wakes up in the hospital, where they're going through the underground tunnel and they're on the bus and then Ellie falls off the bus and Joel has to go underwater and over water and just that entire part, my palms were sweating, my heart was racing. I think that was the, the time that I really felt in the body of the characters in the game because water is such a powerful force and is something that I fear in my real life. Oh shit. Joel protecting Ellie isn't what taught him how to love. He knew how to love. It was in the act of protecting her that he was reminded that love still exists. That for me was really powerful and really resonant. <laughs> Are you kidding? One of the things that was so exciting for me about Left Behind is that I went into it Again, just totally blind. So when it was revealed that Ellie and Riley had crushes on each other, I was so happy. I had already seen so much of my own humanity in. Now I could see a little bit of myself in as well. And honestly, I've never had an experience like that. I remember going to the mall and doing exactly that routine with my friends, just kind of running around and exploring. And that feeling comes from a feeling of safety. And I assumed that the children of this world had never felt that feeling of safety. To see Ellie get to experience it only made it being ripped away so much deeper. All right, come on. The Last of Us has changed my life. It's almost like this whole new world of storytelling has presented itself before me. And here is a brand new entire genre that I was never a part of before. And now I am a part of it. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the fireflies is true. I swear. I'm really looking forward to returning to the Last of Us world. In my calendar, I have a hold on everything that just says Hannah is playing The Last of Us Part Two. This, to me, is a priority. This is a passion. We're allowed our hobbies, and I plan to enjoy it. I really think The Last of Us Part Two is gonna hurt, but we're gonna love every second of it. Yeah.